Welcome back, guys. This is date night with Corey and Monica, and we are doing the In and Out versus Water Burger. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> this is a big bag. Okay, we're not even fit in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> so what makes you the qualified person for choosing the Water Burger items that we're gonna be eating tonight? Well. I was born in Texas mm -hmm. and raised in Texas, and I know a little bit about Texas. Just a little bit. All right, drop and some knowledge. Drop some knowledge. Being a Texan, you think that boots are always the appropriate footwear. Now, if you don't have a lifted truck with big tires, well, you're not a part of the family. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, Monica, mm -hmm. tell me why you are the the right representative to represent In-N-Out Burger for California? Well, I live in Dallas right now, but I lived in LA for almost six years. Six years. And I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but when you get to a city and like I, immediately, like whenever I got to LA, I was like, oh my God, like this is like the place in the world where I feel like this is home. It's right, right. So I hear LA's pretty crazy. Like, what, what are some of the crazy things that you would see in LA that you wouldn't see anywhere else? Like, you can see everything in LA. Like, not being able to tell what gen gender, gender? Yeah. what gender a person is. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like everyday things for us. We appreciate hybrids because gas prices. Oh my God. Gas like prices. Four bucks a gallon sometimes, and it's crazy. Couldn't have no rednecks over there, could you? <laughs> I mean, you could definitely do not have those big trucks that you'll have over here, I'll tell you that. Let's dig into these bags right here, what do you think? Alright, she's got receipts. I got the receipts. Okay, <laughs> so here is what we ordered, guys. Before we get into this, let's get that out of the face there. Should be in your face. Look, look how much you're wasting. Look how much California's wasting on bags. Shame on you in and bags. out. Alright, from Whataburger. I ordered the number two double meat water burger meal with cheese and a vanilla shake. Mm -hmm. And it was ten ninety seven. Alright guys. So from in and out I order a double double animal style because what else is there? Animal style fries because again what else is there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a Neapolitan shake because. So, yeah. Why not? <laughs> so, charge your burger, Corey. Let's see the burger here. Uh oh. <laughs> Knocking stuff over. Now, I gotta say, there's a lot of paper on this. Wow. <laughs> Alright, there's water burger. Get a little 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 dab of that there. Alright. And then there this is in and out. In and out. A little excessive, I think. <laughs> but you know. A little pretentious, you know, at the end of the day. Completely. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Yeah. I gotta say, it does look good. You wanna cut it in half? Let's cut these things in half. Let's put these out on the plate here. Now she got some crazy fries too. I didn't well, get. Why she got the regular water burger fries here? Because it's all, it's all about the the potato. It's all about the potato. I didn't get crazy fries. I got animal style fries. I got one half and she got a half. I got some fries here. Here, man. If you want some of these, um. That's. Holy crap! And what is that? The animal style fries. Animal, all right, well, I got some of them here, but. You can see some of them. Water burger. Okay, right. so oh, wait. So did none of the places give us ketchup? None of them gave us ketchup. Why don't you ask? Ketchup? Yes, no, and how many? You just assume it's gonna have ketchup and then when you open the bag it's a disappointment. Oh my god, it's a disappointment. You know what else is a disappointment? I ordered some sweet tea one day and got <laughs> unsweet. I'm surprised Texas even has unsweet tea. <laughs> you want to start with 
well, clearly the fries. What's your review on the fries, Corey? Well, they're decent. I mean, they're a regular fry. They're no like the best fry. You want ketchup? Yeah, put some ketchup on them. But they're decent. They're a good fry. They're a good fry. Nice shoestring fry. Yeah, they're they're decent. They're not they're not the best. Mm. Oh no, they're not the best. How are you gonna do this? So one thing that I like about Whataburger fries as opposed to like everybody else's fries mm. is that they don't like just put salt as if it were yeah. not tomorrow. Right, yeah, yeah. Because like there might be not tomorrow for the people that eat that much salt. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> Let's get oh we got So we got our animal style fries here. And animal style, I would say, is just a piece of cheese melted with what it looks like. This thousand that, Island dressing. Yep, and raw onions. And raw onions. These are the animal style. <clears throat> you get a fork, guys. See there? That's one disadvantage. You just have to fork it, huh? That's pretty damn good. <laughs> That's pretty good. I think our Texan is converting to the dark side. Just to compare the potato, Corey, now. Okay. See the actual fry. About the same. That's close. Mm-hmm. It's close on the fry. Close on the fry. Okay. But I gotta say, this concoction they've made here, <laughs> That's delicious. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm a Texan, but I ain't, I, I'm not gonna be biased. Well, but the fact that they give you the option to mm -hmm. do this monstrosity, it's great. that's great. Very good. Okay. I'm not even gonna lie. Alright, now let's compare the burgers. Mm. You ready? My goodness. Yeah, we're gonna eat that later. Ready for the burgers? I'm ready for the burger. We're trying to end it out first? Okay. <clears throat> Alright. No I'm ketchup. Excited, no. Cause I do like in and out. So Corey took all his vegetables out because he doesn't eat them no, anyway. Just the tomato. I just have everything that it came with. And I, I did order these animal style as well. So they yeah. do come with Thousand Island dressing. Ready? Right. <laughs> so mm. big. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think? I think it's good. But I'm from Texas. I gotta support the Whataburger. This Whataburger is delicious too. Mm -hmm. So let's get into that. Let's get into that. One thing that was just like, the barn is way bigger on the Texas because it's Texas. Yeah, when you look at the right. circumference, would you say? The circumference is larger. It's like now. so much bigger. It's flatter, but... Right. I mean... <laughs> I don't know what it is to a water burger one. It's just like it just hits a spot, you know. Damn, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't even know how to explain oh it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Mm-hmm. I gotta get back into that, and then I'm gonna take another bite of this to see. Cause That's this what I'm is, gonna do right now. Because this is a uh, this is really good too. Let's try to describe it. Let's try to describe it. Let's see if we can get some of my All right. activate taste buds. Uh -huh. Know. You know what it tastes like? As if a fancy burger plate had like a to-go burger and the bun was much like eater, messy eater friendly. That's what it tastes like. Because it'll thick a bit thicker mm -hmm. bun, that way it doesn't like get flat and kind of soggy or whatever. Yeah, but what a burger. Let me see. I don't know. Let's get back into this. That is no, not even close, I don't even think. I don't know what it is. Is it the cheese? Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, so I think that the Wadi Burger burger is like way more salted. So, so this, this Wadi Burger tastes like what your fast food dreams are made out of. Like, <laughs> that's what like, it is. It's so good. It reminds me of when Burger King was good. Back in the day. You know, Burger King did used to be really good. Yeah. Like, it was, I mean, it's not horrible now, but it ain't near as good as it was back in Because that charbroiled mm -hmm. shit they got going on, that's, that is nice. It is really good. So we have two signature drinks from, like, 
each one of the places and we got milkshakes. Milkshakes. So over here we have a Neapolitan shake and we have a... Just a vanilla shake from Whataburger. Classic. Keep it classic. Keep it Man, simple. yours looks kind of small. Everything's bigger in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> so you seen a circumference on that burger, didn't you? Ooh. But anyways, so let's give it... <laughs> Whatever you well, couldn't get well, it well, out. Well, let's do a little taste test it's here. Struggling. See if we can figure this out. Okay, go ahead. Mine's still frozen. Oh my gosh! I need a spoon. All right, it's so like ice cream. In consistency, we're going to give it to In and Out because it's still a shake. Let me try this. I know who won in this one. Oh, this is delicious. Mm -hmm. It's like three different flavors in one, though. Yep, I mean. that's a Neapolitan shake. It has like everything. <laughs> that is definitely good. Mm -hmm. It's true, we just like keep eating because I'm kind of hungry. So let's make a conclusion on this. Conclusion. Corey. Mm -hmm. So, if you could only have one for the rest of your life, one burger forever. Which one will you go for? I mean, come on. Well, question. What a burger. All day, every day. Fries. Definitely go for the in and out fries. You can't do that. What about you? <sighs> you gotta go. <sighs> I would go for in and out. No, you wouldn't. I would. Oh, in and out, taste this. Almost healthy. Yeah, we all know what healthy tastes like too. <laughs> <laughs> so we know when if she's saying it tastes healthy. Mm -hmm. Water burger is the king. If she knows it tastes better, mm -hmm. she knows it does. You seen the reaction earlier? You know she mm -hmm. thinks it tastes better. So water burger is the best. California, stay down there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. This was date night with Corey and Monica and we'll see you guys next time. Boom! <laughs>